Hi, it's Fridge and Craig, and we've drafted in some help. We've got Emma and Matt, and we're back to do the river cleanup. Um, if you saw our last episode about the medieval bridge, we're back in the same location. So we're going back in, and we're going to pull it all out. Yep, shopping trolleys, bicycles, whatever, whatever else we can find. <laughs> jumping off this bridge and it's probably six foot deep would you say maybe yeah, it's that and yeah. they're jumping off there on the surface as we are now you can't see anything that's under there and there's just so much junk there's branches there's poles sticking out at 45 degrees and if kids are jumping off there it's only a matter of time before something happens we know. must have had a, a, a you know, half a ton of stuff out of Boston mill recently and we, we did, well, over a period of three weeks, we did three or four dives a week for three or four weeks at Horstead Mill. And over that period of time, same as here, kids jumping off the bridge there into the mill pond looks safe. It's not. It, well, it is now. Well, it is now. Yeah. <laughs> Safer. <laughs> Safer. Safer, yeah. but, but, you know, it's just with the hot weather next week, the forecast again is for 27, 28, 29 degrees. And um, kids will be here jumping off, so hopefully here they'll be safer, but there's lots of bridges around that we haven't been to, and so please be careful. We were here doing a rubbish clear-up, and we were chatting to some kids that were telling us that they dive off the bridge above my head into the water here, and one of them nearly had a very bad experience, or he had a bad experience, he got his foot trapped, and it could have been so much worse. So we knew straight away what it was because Jim and I had already found a whole load of trolleys and we weren't prepared for that. We were clearing up cans and bottles yeah, and yeah. you know normal rubbish and we filled three black bin bags with that type of rubbish. But it was obvious we needed to come back with some specialist equipment, Jim, hey? Yeah, definitely. We've, and we've drafted in a bit of a team with us as well. So um, we bought lift bags, we bought two extra people. And there's actually more down there than we thought there is, isn't there? Lots yeah, more. probably a dozen shopping trolleys, bicycles, um, bed frame, just all sorts. Conservation and environment is a key factor in what we do. You know, as, as divers, we're responsible, or we should be responsible for things that we see underwater. Um, everybody knows about plastics in the oceans and the problems. Well, it starts here, so if we can get this out before it reaches the ocean, you know, it's just a small act, but it has a big impact. So I think, you know, that conservation side is a really key feature in what we do. So we just finished our first river clean up here at the Medieval Bridge and well, look what we've got. We've got so much stuff uh, and do you know what, this isn't even half of it. There must be three, four times as much as this again. Um, yeah. The reason we came here was originally to treasure hunt um, but saw all of this in here so we decided to come back and this is the start of it. So I'm really so, pleased. I, I think we're all really pleased at yeah. how far and how much we've got yeah. with this. Yeah. Yeah. So a huge thank you to Matt and Emma for coming along and helping us. And just a warning, the weather's gonna be hot this next week. Please don't jump off bridges. You have no idea what is just Especially below. this one. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we will be back for the, for the remainder. Um, but a phone call to the environmental agency tomorrow, uh, I think is in order to, uh, and Waitrose. Yeah, and Waitrose. Waitrose. Come and get your trolleys. <laughs>